Swan Dive Theater Number video two. podcast for Crumble, Lay Me Down, Justin Timberlake by Sheila Callahan. Woo! I'm Meg Dishorio. And I'm Damon Runnels. Here we are. <laughs> it's a Sunday morning, as you can tell. Um, so what's happened? We have um, another week of rehearsals down. Um, we've seen the entire show off book. Off book. Which is a big deal. Congratulations to the cast. It's a big deal. Um, a lot of lines to memorize in there. Yeah, and they have done a great job. Fantastic. So. Um, well, we're not going to be around the bush. We're just going to get to um, get to the good first. stuff. First, here is clip number one. Go. I'd rather bleed to death in an open field slab in New York. Don't be melodramatic. Janice, it's frigid in here. You'll catch pneumonia or strep. We don't really need that this year. Mine. <laughs> and, put some socks and put some socks on. Your toes will fall off. You know the radiator was banging all morning. If the pipes are, I don't know, contracting maybe. And, and you know I can't turn it on or it'll leak like last time. And it'll ruin the floors. <laughs> and go and put something on your head. And... Keep your door to your bedroom closed, or the heat will escape now. And don't stay up all night on your computer, your eyes, you'll go blind or something. Don't look at me like that. Somebody call an ambulance! Holy crap, my toes are falling off! Breathe. Oh, dear Lord. So that was clip number one, uh, and you probably noticed that I was smacking the back of Heather Meyer's head the entire time. Um, so yeah, what was that? That was, uh, people might be confused as to why I'm standing there, popping her in the back of the head. Yeah. Um, we learned a game uh, from John Ferguson uh, during one of his clown workshops um, uh, that was uh, someone tries to tell a story and another person baps them in the back of the head to kind of disrupt the thought process and that was the thing that we wanted to find in this moment was um, not just disrupting the thought process but it's an agitation and so I wanted to use a physical mechanism um, to get Heather to have that feeling of uh, breaking up her thought and, and with each one she gets more and more agitated um, and more and more upset so I think it worked pretty well it did work really well yeah so good what do we got next so, um, uh, in this next scene, we're going to see, um, this is Ramit and John. Um, this was kind of a hard scene. Ramit was um, struggling a little bit with lines. It was the first time that, that she had done it off book. She did a tremendous job, though. Um, but this is, the, this is when we're seeing uh, Janice, this 13-year-old girl who sort of is um, coming to grips with the fact that she plans on killing herself and her mom. Um, and so it's emotional and, you know, it's hard to kind of jump into. Um, so this is Ramit as Janice shedding all of the things that make heavy her load. I think, I mean, like if you're yeah. doing it, I mean, if you're, you're really calm. agitated and really, really frenetic and really blah, 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 I mean, you'll be panting yeah. at that point, yeah. which I think is a good thing. Yeah. So you should be panting, and then by the time you get to the place where your heart stops, it should feel like your heart is going Racing. to stop. Yeah, so you need a so few fast. seconds. By the time you sit your butt down there, you need a couple of seconds to gulp in air, and then you're lying. Justin Timberlake poster, Simpsons, my seashell collection, my clarinet, um, strawberry hubba bubba, chocolate chip granola bars, chocolate covered raisins, chocolate milk, Oh, Swiss Miss hot chocolate with mini marshmallows. Um, my birthday. Um, my earlobes. That's it, I think. Oh, the place where he put the stool to read me Green Eggs and Ham a hundred million times. The place where he drew with little pencil lines every year to make sure I was growing. The place I've been staring for a year, pretending I could see the sky. I go where my heart stops. 
Good. Yeah, much better. Good. Good. And third one. Yes, and our third clip. Uh, again, Ronit and uh, this time uh, Deb. Oh, you get to see Deb Berger for the first time. As Barbara. Yes, um, crazy cat lady. Crazy cat lady. <laughs> uh, and this is a this was a great scene um, uh, with Barbara and Janice mm -hmm. and a real standoffish kind of moment for Janice, which we had been playing very kind of um, very tight and closed and non-reactionary. And uh, we opened it up, um, and here's some of the things that we found in there, which I think are quite humorous. Quite. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> How you doing? A boy down there in Boyland got you down? <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. <laughs> with your dirty yarn hair and your mouth stitched in a permagrin. Do you know how your eyes were made? A needle poking into your head again and again and again, a million tiny holes in your flesh. How do you feel about that? Well, I suppose I wasn't too keen on it at the time. <laughs> well, you're shy. <laughs> clips for this week. Oh, not all of them, but a select few. So that's what's happening in rehearsals right now. The mm -hmm. show is going so well, and I don't know about you, but I'm really excited about it. I'm very excited about it. We had a wonderful production meeting this week as well. Awesome. Um, designs are awesome. fantastic. Mm -hmm. They're going to be great. Really, really good. So, really good. Um, so um, stay tuned. We'll have another one next week. See you next week. Yeah, definitely. With some more rehearsals. We start putting things together this week. So mm -hmm. uh, a little more in-depth work, uh, a little longer chunks so people start getting into things. So right, right. it'll be a lot of fun. So. Oh, well, we should tell them what the outro is. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, yeah. Uh, we're skipping our, our traditional music here for uh, um, uh, a brief uh, phone call and voice message uh, by Heather. Um, there's a scene in the show where uh, mother is woken up at about three or in the morning and, and to give Heather a sense of what that's like, I told her to set an alarm and call me at three in the morning, uh, which uh, she did. And this is the voice message that she left. Mm -hmm. So uh, until next week, thank you very much. Uh, remember, you can always get information at www.swandivetheater.org. Mm -hmm. Friend us on Facebook, follow our uh, Facebook page, um, and uh, send info and thoughts to swandivetheater at mac.com. See you next week. Hey, Damon, it's Heather. Oh, my God. I'm calling you in the middle of the evening night because I said I would. Um, yeah, so that's the story with that. Um, I don't know what else I'm supposed to do, but this is what I'm doing. This is a great story. All right. Bye.